In the tree service, the pole pruner is probably one of the most valuable tools that you're going to use. It's definitely the tool that you make some of the most money with. It's a high maintenance tool, but with daily upkeep, it should work well all day long. Now the highlighted area there in red is a very important part of the pole pruner that gets neglected. It needs to be a clean, crisp edge right up to the surface. It's like an anvil that the blade cuts across. The easiest way to do this is either with a round file, it takes a little bit longer that way, or a, a Dremel type uh, rotary stone cutting tool. Nice and crisp and clean with no round over edge. If it is rounded over even a little bit, then when you make a, a cut, the bark or, or the wood fibers tear and they pull out and it doesn't cut clean. Now the uh, surface of the blade is also very important. That's got to be very flat. You don't want any rounding over on the back side of the blade whatsoever. It has to cut clean right up to that anvil edge. Now the spring is also a vital component of this whole setup. These springs break frequently and they can get stretched out. So keep a spare, make sure you keep it uh, looped up, and make sure it's fastened securely. The pulley can give you some problems as well. Through use, sometimes the outside metal portions get pinched together and they cause the, the inside plastic pulley to, to rub and it doesn't work efficiently. If you can keep this area oiled um, inside, it runs much smoother. Now as well as uh, both of the faces that touch each other being clean and flat, the blade itself has to be maintained sharp. Now you don't want to sharpen it to too steep of an angle, otherwise it gets dull too fast. You don't want it to be too abrupt of an angle. It's quite easy, easy to maintain with a, a flat file. Just a few strokes every day will keep this up, and that'll make all the difference in the world. A well-functioning pole printer will cut all day long without tearing and leaving little strips of wood. Check it before you start working. Make sure that everything I'm talking about is in order. And very important, keep it lubricated. There's a lot of points on the pole printer that need to be lubricated, and it should be done every day. Thanks for taking the time to view this presentation. My name is Blair Glenn, and I'm an ISA Certified Arborist.